Hi guys, this is Fazan and welcome to the session by Great Learning. So today we are going to talk about HTML for beginners. But before we start, am I guys audible? Just quickly write in the chat section. So before we start, GL has come up with the Great Learning Academy initiative where there are 80 plus courses available for limited amount of time. So while we are in this COVID, you can quickly go ahead and check those courses out and keep learning. So let's start with the session. Let's talk about the ag agenda. Okay. In this session, we are going to cover what is HTML, features of HTML, HTML editor, which HTML editor should we use, skeleton of HTML, how do we make comments in HTML file, HTML elements, basic tags, and finally, we will conclude this session on attributes. Now, what is HTML? Basically, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. What do you mean by hypertext? Basically, every time when we go on a on Google and we try to find out some pages, or we we will we enter some, into some website. Maybe you are entering in a GL website and you move along the tabs. Basically, that is the link. So, with the help of this uh, links, we can move along the tabs. Okay. So this is called hypertext. What do you mean by markup language? Basically, markup language is a text between tags which defines the structure of the web page. Okay. Basically, when we go into some website, what is the structure there? It is defined by web page. Plus, we need some interactive tools like uh, JavaScript, CSS to make it beautify. So that's another thing. Okay. So, but the structure that defines the web page is markup language. And with the help of tags, we will be able to do that. This HTML is used to create language okay this language that we created from html to create web pages okay so html defines how the web page looks and how to display the content with the help of elements okay it forms or defines the structure of the web page basically whatever we see on the web page is defined by html tags now if we are trying to save the file which is written in html we need to have dot html as its extension Okay. Now quickly just check out features of HTML. So when, before we conclude this uh, session of, on HTML, you will be able to know everything that you should know about HTML. So the learning curve that how quickly you can learn this language is very easy and it's easy to modify. Creating effective presentations can be done with the help of HTML adding links wherein we can add references for example you have written some document and you want to show the guys that where you got your data from you can easily put links on that okay we can display it on platforms like Mac Windows and Linux adding videos and graphics and audios making it more attractive what do you mean by this we can easily add videos in our HTML file graphics audios thus making our website more attractive and if somehow you misspelled or written something in lowercase or uppercase, it doesn't depend. It doesn't affect your web page, right? It is case insensitive language. Now, before we start, which HTML editor we should use? So many of you might be having notepad in your laptops or systems or notepad plus plus or atom. So the best editor in my opinion is sublime text. I will show you and all the coding that we are going to do will be done on this sublime text. Okay. Now let's quickly talk about HTML skeleton. So this skeleton is very important as whatever we write or whatever the HTML file we have, this skeleton must be in that file. This skeleton is very important. And every time when we try to write a page, right in HTML, this skeleton must be there. So what does this these lines uh, that are shown on your screen? What does these line mean? Lines mean, right? So the first line you can see is uh, exclamatory mark doc type HTML. What does this mean? I will quickly just brief about each of these lines. Okay, so 
the doc type html means that we are giving an instruction to the browser about the html version that means for example right now we have html5 that we are using okay so how does browser know this thing with the help of this doc type html okay then comes the html right if you can see that the second line is html so what does this mean basically this is a root element and everything uh, we write in our html which which we want to display on the browser on the web page comes in these tags in this tag and everything this acts as a container okay the browser should know that this is a html file this tag helps him that root this is also called the root element and acts as a container to hold all of your code what are the permitted contents right if you can see i will just slide back if you can see in this html file there are two tags right the head tag and the body tag right so this is the permitted content and it should be followed in the same way like one tag head tag followed by one body tag okay now let's quickly go ahead and check the head tag what does this do right if you can see here in this slide there we have the third line is the head tag right the head tag is basically everything that we write here will never be displayed in the browser basically it's an added information that we include with our document okay generally contains information about the document who wrote this document title tags definitions of your css scripts right basically metadata information about your document so we will see how to links are we will if uh, we are going to cover in future that how we can add css to our html file and scripts uh, that is javascript to our files we can define or write those things in our head tag basically how we link our css file how we link our javascript file and the title tag title tag is very important we will cover it in the next slide so everything that we define in this tag will never be displayed on your browser okay now comes the body tag the body tag is the most important tag as everything we write here it is opposite to what head tag does everything that we write in head tag never gets displayed right but everything we write in our body tag will always be displayed in the browser right it can contain text files uh, text images links everything achieve uh, this these everything can be achieved by tags right so there's an example that whatever i'm going to write in the body tag for example if i wrote a paragraph tag we will cover all these things in the next slides but it's just an example we can write a paragraph there we can add links for example if i'm if i want to, someone in my website to go to a google for some reference so i can check i can use that this anchor tag to include this into my file okay we can include sources like we can include images with the help of this image tag right everything we write in this body tag will be displayed in our browser okay now how do we write comments this is the most important thing what does comment help basically it doesn't get displayed in our browser right but it's it makes our code better and it makes it more readable it helps us in debugging for example if we are stuck somewhere maybe we can you we can find out or if we are stuck somewhere and then we found a way to solve that thing we can put a comment that i was uh, stuck in this code and then i did this so next time when i'm doing this thing and i will get stuck somewhere so okay, i can use that comment to help out myself right and it makes it better readable right if you are someone is watching your code or someone you send your code to someone in the in the company or anything like that these comments will help him also okay so we will check out how we write uh, these comments basically we can write a single line comment a multiple line comment or a comment tag which is supported by only internet explorer okay i am going to use google chrome for all the uh, for all these things but if you are trying to do uh, comment if you trying to implement comment tag this can be supported only by internet explorer okay now let's quickly go ahead and do some coding okay so first you need to open sublime or you can do it on a notepad but sublime i will show you how this makes things very easy okay so you just need to open sublime or notepad then save your file with dot extension html 
right then if you only write html here and then press a tab you see the skeleton came just by writing html you don't have to remember anything just by writing html tag and just by writing html then press tab everything comes up okay now this title tag is here we will cover it in uh, the next slides now let's go ahead and check out some thing so don't worry if you don't understand anything right now right these tag about these tags we will check these things another if you're trying to write something gibberish right if you're trying to write something in the uh, you want to check if uh, html is working fine or not rather than writing this thing right it doesn't make it readable right if you try some this lorem only this thing and press a tab this uh, lines it doesn't mean anything but these lines come up okay so you can use this as well just by pressing lorem and then press a tab everything comes up okay then we close our tag here okay okay we will close our tag done save your file and go into your browser or you can if uh, if you have saved it on the desktop go on that file and double click it whatever is your default browser will be displayed in this thing so now let's check this thing out our html you see this is the thing okay this came as in a paragraph so now quickly move ahead in i will go back to this thing and now we will try to implement basically whatever we study right now in this session i'm going to implement each and everything okay now the first thing that we studied about was the comment tags so basically if i'm trying to comment something for example i wrote some paragraph again and i put this is this is a first html file okay now let's close this tag so first check it out we will check it out if it is running in our browser yes this is now let's make changes let's try to comment this line okay how do we make comments single line comment basically we put this thing then an exclamatory mark then two lines you see everything is great all the code that is written after this single piece of code what this thing i am highlighting it okay everything that we write makes this rest of the code great right you see now i will just close this here and i will close this this and everything back um, everything below it comes back to life okay so i am commenting this thing i am saving this file now you see you check this thing there was this uh, this is our first html file right and this is gone right this is how we make a single line comment the comment tag will won't work in this thing because i am using chrome so you can check if uh, that thing works or not in internet explorer so now how do we make a multiple line comment so basically let's control z this thing and now do it again basically now we try to do this paragraph tag and we try to implement a sing double line comments or multiple line comment on this thing so now we will end this thing here okay now save this file and we run this this is our first i can't smell r okay this is our first html file okay save that's done okay this is how we do single line comments and multiple line comments also you can use comment tag which is present which will be will, which will not affect in this case but if you try to implement it in internet explorer it will work so now move ahead with our comments okay so comments are done and dusted and we will talk about we did everything in our body body tag right so this is thing is also done now let's talk about this structure that we were using right this p tag and we, then we were writing some comment and then some text we were writing in it and then we were closing it what does this mean what is this structure called basically this is an element an element contains the basic structure what do you what does this thing contains let's talk about basic structure so basically i am right i have written something here right p 
I'm opening a paragraph tag and I'm writing some color thing, some equal to red. This is our first paragraph. Then I'm closing this thing. Basically, this is a basic structure of an element. We can this uh, end tag is optional. We can uh, attributes is optional. But if we're talking about whole thing, this is the basic structure of our element. So elements are used for creating. Elements can be used. By creating, uh, for example, if we talk, uh, let me repeat this thing. So, elements can be created using tags. So, if you're trying to implement anything or element, th elements we are trying to implement elements, right? So, this can be done using tags. Elements can be used to define semantics. Basically, what do you mean by semantics? Semantics means meaning. So, right now we were trying to implement paragraph. So, this is the meaning. This shows the meaning that we are trying to implement paragraph, right? This adds to the HTML page, right? And it can be nested or it can be empty, right? Elements can be nested. Basically, we will, we will, I will show you uh, how to nest elements, right? Uh, basically, what we are trying, what we'll be doing, basically trying to implement uh, paragraph tag, and inside that paragraph tag, we will try to implement some other tag or some other element. So basically, we will try to nest those things and it can be empty as well we will check all these things okay don't worry so let's talk about the basic structure now basically it will contain a start tag which is the p tag right we have written this tag if you don't understand right now this will be covered but since we are going in some flow so that's why i have to cover these things early we will do we will implement these things one by one don't worry okay so this p tag starts uh, start tag is p then there is an attribute this thing will also be covered the color red how we write these things okay then the end tag this is optional why some tags are self closing tags we will talk about them so that's why i have written optional okay then the content this is our first paragraph goes in this tag okay before we start this thing let me show you something okay regarding this thing Mm, where is our file right okay so you see this is the starting tag and this is our content and this is our end tag so this is one element so let's go ahead and check out some features on this so I told you that we can nest things right so if you write a paragraph tag mm, it's this tag you try to use this thing again let me write something. This is a second attempt. Okay. So this is our second attempt on creating a paragraph. Okay. So done. Now what we will do, we'll try to nest some other para uh, tag in it. So basically if I try to implement strong tag basically it's nothing but it does does bold whatever the content it is in it bolds it okay we'll try to save it and now let's check out our page and refresh it and you see this is the second attempt and this is our second attempt and the second word that is written in it what is does it just bolds your text that's it okay now what the, what we did here we just nested two elements right we nested two tags right so that's what we mean by nesting and some tags are empty tags what does that mean basically it means that sometimes if you're trying to break a line right br tag so right this is this thing that's it so we try to break it here so that you guys can see copy so we try to save this thing done and we try to refresh it you see the difference that it just broke, uh, took a enter or when we try to enter something right anything we write in these tags right whatever we write in this HTML file even though you try to put so many enters but it won't take those things right if you try to save this thing it won't be affecting right nothing happens but if we try to use this content again what we are 
it is you, you basically what we did here in this our code we try to put so many enters in it but it is it doesn't affect our web page right but if i'm trying to use this thing again and again basically you got the point right if you're trying to use this you see there comes a huge uh, gap between the first line and the second line right so now let's get started again and these tags whatever we wrote in this tag this br tag this is empty tag why because we are not writing any content in it so that's what we mean by an empty tag okay now let's continue again so this was a thing right we checked out nested thing empty tags right nested tags how we nest tags right and then we checked out the basic structure right of an html element right now there are some types of elements right some are called block level and some are called inline basically what do you mean by these things if we if you have observed that this thing the paragraph tag right it takes up a whole line and the next paragraph tag that we wrote doesn't come up showing this way right if if i write this thing i'm trying to show you something okay so even if i'm writing this tag here right i'm writing them side by side what do you think guys what happens if we save this thing do they come in the same line save this file and then we run it no right they come on the they uh, though they are written together but they are on again what on the different lines right so this is what we mean by a block level element basically a paragraph tag is a block level element so it takes a complete block it takes a complete width of this web, uh, web page or this html file that we are or this uh, the screen the resolution of the screen the width it takes it's 100 percent okay so next time we write a paragraph tag it does the same thing again okay this is what do you mean by a block level element okay now quickly go ahead and check out some block. so it takes up the block or width and adds a structure in the web page we saw that right always starts from the new line yes it starts because though we wrote these paragraph tags together but they always started from the next line right always ended before the new line so next time when the first one ended the next started from the next line right so some examples of uh, block level elements are paragraph tags div tags headings from one to six we will check all these uh, tags okay the unordered list and on the ordered list okay these are all block level elements so now block level is done right now let's talk about what are the inline elements so inline elements basically takes whatever it needs right i will show you again first i will show you the demo then this thing makes easier for you to understand okay where's our file here it is so you check you saw this tag the strong tag that we wrote let me make it more readable okay this tag that we wrote in this section right it didn't do the same thing right even though we are writing it in the same thing right same paragraph tag this is also a tag right but it's an inline tag whatever we wrote in this thing whatever the space it requires it takes that and does nothing it doesn't take the complete block you see check this out we saved this file and we go back into this thing you see if it was a block line element then there should have been an enter right in between the, these things this is r then there should be an enter and the new line then the second then the new line again you see let me show you okay see now if i would have written something which is not a inline element for example let's say div right and div is not an inline element it's a block level element let's check out what happens right we save this file and then we you see this is our then the second then the item so this took up the whole block right whole a complete width of the page and then it came up on the next line then again right you got the point so now let's control z again so but this is not this was not the case in in case of strong tag right so basically 
you might guys might be thinking that we you have heard about something this tag right the b tag this does the same thing right it pulls your text we save the file does the same thing right then why do we have these two tags right strong tag and bold tag why do we have if they does the same thing basically the html file the html file right deals with concern separation of concerns right this bold text seems somehow that we are adding some style to our content right so what html did it deals with the things called separation of concerns basically never we try to include our styles in a single html file basically what we do if you try if you want to implement css on your html file we will do it in a single separate file right this is what was the main idea be behind the html5 thing so he thought or this html5 version thought that we are adding some style to it so let's make it more meaningful and let's do strong right that's why the strong came and the bold thing is deprecated or you don't use this thing in html5 right now strong means it adds meaning right this this means that this text is strong this doesn't mean that we are styling our sheet though it does the same thing but the tag that we are using tells us a lot about it right this is a strong text similarly if we try to implement this thing again i will tell you some differences between what version html5 is and what were the earlier versions right so if you're trying to implement i tag basically it italics it is an italic tag basically it will write your text in a some, some fancy way so if we did this thing you see this text is a little bit curvy right italic written in italic form so this is also style html5 said that we don't use this tag what you what will we use we use an emphasis tag em tag okay does the same thing but we are not we are not adding any style to this html5 it just adds meaning right this does the same thing okay so these are some two differences that i thought i should cover before moving ahead okay about the html5 how does this work so let's move ahead and some of the inline tags we saw was strong emphasis right both of them were inline right span tag is another inline tag we will talk about it also anchor tag images these are all inline tags right now let's move ahead and talk about some basic tags so what is a tag so everything that is enclosed within these brackets that are shown in your screen are called tags different tags render different meaning right so paragraph does the paragraph thing strong makes the bold text emphasis makes the text italic so different tags mean different thing no say, uh, no tag does the same thing then they won't they won't be two tags two different tags right so you got the point what the tag uh, does what does it render it renders different meaning to it okay so the title tag comes up next so we never show i never showed you what does this title tag does right now we finally came up into this title head uh, the doc type is done html is done head tag now we talk about head tag head tag is also done basically we contain information about the page in it but there is a title tag in it basically what does this mean so if we try um, right home in it right so what does this thing does we save our file and we open our browser and we refresh refresh it right you see you check here here it is written first.html now i refresh it what does this show home how does it help how does title tag help basically when we are trying to google anything right let's say we try to search something um, html okay we talking about html we try to search this thing so you see this thing this html this first link i will click on it right you see this html tutorial came up in this tab right where does it come from if i try to inspect this thing just give me a second here yeah if i try to inspect this thing so basically we know where it came from right the head tag let's check it out let's see if i am right or not you see there is the head tag we inspected it right here it is in the title tag what is written 
HTML tutorial. So all these links when we try to uh, whatever is written in the title tag comes up and it makes our so it comes up in the tab and when you are trying to search these links that come in front of us also comes from the title tag you see the importance of this tag right so this tag the title tag whatever it is written in this tag comes up in the web page tab right defines the title of the page and the syntax is already shown to you right so this is the title tag now paragraph tag whatever we were writing and uh, until now until this point right we were using paragraph 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 so it designs a paragraph it is this thing is done this is our first paragraph is the syntax of this right now let's move ahead hr tag the hr tag stands for horizontal rule right so this horizontal rule what does this mean basically it divides your web page let's check that out also here it is okay now let's try to divide this page and this is also an empty tag okay you see i wrote caps right this uh, uh, this this hr is written in caps lock right uh, basically it's written in uppercase we try to save this file so since this is a case in sensitive language it doesn't affect whatever we are trying to write you see there is a horizontal line it divide divided our first paragraph with the next two paragraphs right what the point so this is what an hr tag does so these are some basic basic tags right then br tag we already saw this stands for break line right when we try to uh, uh, basically if we are try, uh, trying to write some text then you do an enter right you move to the next line right that's what the br tag does now the image tag this tag is used to add images and to your web page what does that mean so basically if you're trying to build some uh, website right and you want to show your face or show some other guy's face or anything any image right how do you add this thing let's see uh, that thing also right hr tag is done we are tag now we check about image tag just write image then do a tab this comes right so the source i will use google as my source so let's do some cat images okay okay let's do this one let's open this thing mm, this one looks good open this image and now let's copy this url whatever we copied here we will just paste it in the source tag paste it and then save our file let's see if the image comes okay it doesn't fetch this thing so now let's talk about this thing why didn't fetch this thing so whenever we try to implement this source tag we need a image right we need to have an image to render this thing right so whatever is in our system we can easily render it right so this thing that right now this error came right let me show you this thing the error came that this was no he was not able to browser was not able to render this thing right so let's press alt tab and this thing Save this thing and run this. Thing. Okay, see. Now we added something, uh, some more uh, attribute, one attribute to it that if this thing is not able to show this file, then just give me a message that file not file was not found. Okay, so basically this adds more meaning to your web page, right? If you're not able to load sometime some images. But you got the point, right? If we are not able to load something, we will we can write this alt uh, attribute and 
check that out as well if you're having any image on your web uh, desktop you can just easily uh, write that name in it and this will render that thing okay so now let's move ahead and image tag is done now the heading tags basically these heading tags define the heading of your page right the most important text that is written in your page is represented by h1 tag okay so h1 tag defines the most important and h6 tag defines the least important uh, line or heading in your page okay so now let's quickly go ahead and check this thing so now let's try to implement this heading tag here let's define some heading so h1 the most important one so this is html page right so this is an html page right we save this thing and let's try to implement all those tags as well it starts from h1 and h2 tag is also there and let's try to copy it a few times so that you get the difference between all h1 and h6 tags so right now enter, 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 enter. okay now let's change these things this is 2 let's make this thing 2 as well let's make it 3 as well this thing three this four I will show you the differences between all these tags uh, h1 starting from h1 to h6 okay you see how this text gets the font size decreases as we move along these h1 to h6 Let's save this file and try to see what happens here okay let's close this thing I don't need this anymore <laughs> you see this is the first, this is html page this is html page this is you see gradually the size and the uh, font size decreases and its length also decreases so this represents the most important tag the most important heading of your page is represented by h1 tag and the least important heading is represented by what the h6 tag right so now let's check out the other things as well okay where it is okay here it is yeah you see these tags which we uh, studied earlier we didn't put a closing tag on this all right if you check any of these tags hr tags there is no closing tag there is no closing tag basically we didn't write this thing right we didn't close this thing right image so basically what these tags are these are called self closing tags okay all of these tags are self closing tags these hr br and image tags are self closing tags now h1 and h6 are not self closing tags we have to explicitly close these tags now strong tag is not also an uh, it's not an uh, explicitly we have to define we have to enclose these tag strong tag is done emphasis tag is done right now let's talk about the ordered list and unordered list basically what does these tags do basically if you're trying to show some if you're trying to implement or if you're trying to show in your pages that this these things you need to follow to get to a particular point right you want to show uh, some things which have some order right there is some order to it right so basically this thing first line second line third line then first two for example let's make it really simple if you're making a t right or if you're making a flow chart so you get you need to do this thing first then this then this basically there is some order to it right so that's what you mean by an ordered list okay so how does we write how do we write this thing so basically just put an ol tag right press enter and close this tag now whatever we write in this order list there's are list items that means we what do we want to do the list of things that we want to do right it comes under li tag so basically if even if you write li and then press a tab the self-closing tag comes 
also uh, uh, if you try to press tab the close uh, the close tag that is associated with it also comes basically this is the feature of why i'm using sublime tags so basically if you just write some tag here p and then press a tab uh, the closing part also comes with it okay that's why i used sublime tags and you, you guys should also use this same thing so now let's write something basically um, first go in this right first go in the kitchen right basically we are trying to make a tea first go in a kitchen right we went into the kitchen and then we picked something again a li tag right a li tag we did this thing we did a then again we did this thing again what a li tag so you got the point these are the series of events that we have to do now we save this file and we check out what happens in our web page you see first do this first step second step third step now you don't want this thing basically if you're if you're not using as you you don't want to use as one two three or you don't want to use any kind of a series um, i mean to say you don't want to use any sequence right so for that also we have a tag and it's you just have to replace this ol by ul that is unordered list now this one thing will be removed we will save this file we'll save this file and then we will check quickly right we'll check this thing then these one two three things are removed so there is no order basically if you're trying to show if you're building a website and you want to show uh, some hobbies of yours right you can use this unordered list right so this is how we do it okay so order list unordered list done right like for example you are trying to implement your hobbies you can use this thing now let's talk about li tag which we used in this it defines the list item right we are talking about unordered list so there's a list associated with it how we will define this list with the help of li tags right we used li tags right to define these events right so now this uh, div tag and span tag are most important tags in the html we won't be having such an effect in this um, in this session because basically when we're trying to implement some styles to a particular thing right uh, basically this tag acts as a container basically if you want to have a para uh, if we implement it if we wrote uh, let me show you that will give you a better understanding so you want all of these paragraph these two paragraphs and the unordered list in a single single element uh, single tag basically you are trying to group these elements into a single thing so div tag comes as the savior okay so we will use this div tag okay so the div is done okay so this div tag what does this does this will enclose every tag within this div so basically acts as a container we can put different different types of tags in this container okay right let's save this file this won't show any effect on our web page because we haven't added any styles this will be as it is this you won't get to see the difference right you see there is no difference in the page because we didn't add any style if we try to do some styling on it basically for the just the sake of your understanding i will try to implement this thing so i will try to implement the style tag which is a global tag global attribute which we can use on every tag right so basically i did style tag then i wrote color right color red so basically the text color of all the things that are in this tag will be red right we save this file and we run this you see every tag that is inside this div tag we changed its color rather than going from uh, one tag and then implementing our color there and then doing the other thing then doing the other thing then implementing it on other tag then on the ul and uis allies right so we what we did we implemented this thing on our div tag right and everything which was inside it referred it rendered it right so this is div tag but i highly do not recommend this adding a style inside your html file because the in your html file the main main objective of an html file was the version html file was do not include your styles in your html5 
if you want to include your HTML styles in your HTML file, you need to create a separate file and link that file with your HTML file in the head tag, right? So just for your sake of understanding, we are not completing CSS in this session. We are more focused in this thing. So now this tag does this thing, right? You got the point what a div tag does. Basically, a both uh, both of these tags, div tag and span tags are used to group different tags, right? We saw that X like and container already shown, effective while styling, right? We st uh, style this thing. The only difference between this div tag and span tag is that one of them is inline which is in line that is span tag now we quickly try to show you one simple thing so now let's try to span this thing a strong element right we try to span use a span tag now that thing div is done now let's see if it works like an inline or not span tag we wrote there span tag and then again we try to implement the style of it let's remove the style on the previous one and let's try to implement this style tag basically uh, why i'm using the same tag basically this attribute the style attribute is global attribute you can implement this style tag basically style is uh, used to uh, add colors background font size everything that can be done in this style attribute it's also it's a global attribute so you can use it on any of the tags right h1 h2 hr div anything which shows some content so that you can check that thing right so let's try to save this file control s and let's check the effects so this was earlier now it won't be there so you see the second attempt is under the span tag we we just we acted it it also acted as a container right so here it acts as a container and whatever we included in this span tag was shown as red right is done now let's move ahead so it's also in line because there was not no block in it right it came in the same line right whatever the space it required it took that thing and did the thing right so let's move ahead and the image tag is done you just add image then the source thing you add the url there it's a self-closing tag already taught right already seen the demo of it anchor tags now the another important thing is the anchor tag so the anchor tag what does this thing does mm, yeah so let's try to implement an anchor tag basically it's an inline tag so everything if i wrote it inside this ul okay just sh let's keep it simple first let's try to implement anchor tag here okay then tab then this href is again an attribute on which we have to give some reference to something so we are uh, working in the html file we are working on the file protocol uh, right we are working whenever we render html file we are working on a fi file protocol so to do something we add double slash and then we try to include google on it okay google right we added a link and this link will not be displayed until we showed some content right go to google right let's check that out go to google right we added some context and let's check this thing out tab and then this thing let's save this thing and you see there came a link and now when i click on this link it will render me to google right it will show you show it showed me the google file right google right so this is how we do it and if you don't want to uh, render it on the same page basically what happens in all the website you can use another attribute so that it will just move on the it will open in the new tab okay that can be also done so let's quickly move ahead anchor tag is done and now we come into the last uh, section of this session that is attributes so attributes what does this thing does these attributes which which we have used already right the tag name this is the syntax right the properties associated with each tag right basically there are two global tags right the title tag which adds extra information when we try to hover on that the thing 
when we hover a, a pointer on some tag uh, which have which we have rendered on the web page the title tag helps and it gives the extra information for example image that we tried to insert uh, in a web page that didn't render right if we hover on that thing we can add a information right this is the picture of a cat right that thing can be done these two tags are global tags and what we how we write a tag uh, how we write these attributes the basically the tag name then the name of the attribute okay then the name of the attribute right then the, then its value so this thing have already been covered just a second here it is right right this is you see whatever we did in this thing right this style this is the name of the attribute and this is the property that we are changing right if we want to change some property with the help of this uh, not using the style attribute if we uh, want to change this thing we have already done that right in href tag we used url right in a anchor tag we use href as an attribute and source as an attribute right these are all attributes right the, we can change the image width and image height all these things can be done with the help of attributes basically whenever we are trying to implement attributes there are a lot of attributes so you don't have to remember these things right right you don't have to remember these things so basically what you can do basically whenever you are trying to implement some basically you want to know about some attributes like there are thousands of attributes and and hundreds of elements so if you're trying to implement these things and you somehow forgot or how to write it basically there is a uh, mozilla developer network that you can use constantly and all the software developers all around the world use this thing basically what you try to do just write html uh, uh, then write mdn mozilla development developer network basically it will give you all the html elements that are present so basically there are hundreds of elements so whatever is the requirement of your website you go in this thing and check it out and implement that thing right it's not about remembering anything right if you have you don't have to memorize 100 elements right nobody will ask you and you will never use only 15 of them are useful i guess and also if you're trying to use implement attributes right you can just write html Mm, then what are we try attributes right attributes mm, mdn right that thing so this is the most beautiful website right attribute reference then this thing comes right all the attributes and how they are used and where we can use basically what we we studied here was the global attributes right and some attributes which are specific to some anchor tags or the image tags right whatever we want to use just go in this website and check if you want to use align how many things where we can use this we can use it in applet caption nobody uses this though but if you want if your website requires these things you can right we have implemented alt where we can use this attribute we can use it in area image input right these all things are written here right you can check this thing border right capture click these all things color wherever we can write color color can be written with font and all those hr tags right hr tag can implement color okay this basically that line that came you can implement color on it let me show you quickly mm, we implemented hr tag right yeah here it is so hr tag the line that came right horizontal row so we can implement color on it right So we wrote color and then equal to basically the syntax of this then red. So we saved this thing and then we went into our home page, we refreshed it. So you see, we can implement easily if whatever the attributes you want to implement, you can implement it using this developer network. Okay. So these are the things that you need to cover. Okay so this is the attribute tags right so we are done with this session thank you now let's quickly go ahead and check out some question answer session that you guys have put okay Kunal says, can we create web pages using HTML? Yes, Kunal, we can. We The web pages are basically created with the help of HTML. Right? And uh, Heaven7 says, 
hey i want to know what is the difference between html and html5 basically html is HTML5 is a version, right? So HTML5 in this version we have different different features. Basically, when a version comes of one thing and the other thing, there are some changes in it, right? HTML is a language, right? The HTML5 we use is a version, right? So in HTML5, I try to say some things in between. What are the what are the things that we what are the things that changed from previous version to this version, right? So basically, HTML5 deals with separation of concerns, right? So whatever you try to implement on your web page, do not include style and that. That's what was. What do you mean by separation of concerns? Basically, if you have an HTML file, a CSS file, and an JavaScript file, do not include that thing in your HTML file. Just write a separate file. Separation of concerns. CSS is a look, CSS is a different concern. HTML is a different concern, right? So separation of concerns. All those things need to be added differently and linked differently in your HTML file. So we checked out those things as well, right? Strong tag, emphasis tag. They are deprecated. Why they are deprecated? Earlier in HTML versions, uh, they uh, these things were which earlier in the earlier versions these things were included, right? Now in the HTML five, these version these uh, tags are removed, right? So we have to just be more meaningful, right? Strong. This text is strong. Emphasis. This text is italic. This is more emphasis on this text, right? These things. Then we have which ID should we should recommend for HTML beginners? Thanks. So basically, rather than going for an ID, if you if you are not willing to uh, download Sublime or anything, you should use Notepad. That will give you much more clarity. Okay. Do we have any more questions? okay guys that's it from me i hope you guys are safe and during this lockdown please go ahead and check the uh, gl website please and you have an academy we have initiated uh, initiated gl has, have, has come up with an uh, gl academy initiative right great learning academy initiative where there are 80 plus courses available free for a limited amount of time so you can check those things right so the link will be shared in the description okay okay guys thanks a lot thanks